In the heart of modern-day Ghana is the cradle of a great kingdom built on gold. Preparations are underway for an important event. A display of how gold is still very much at the heart of their culture. So, this is Kamasi, Ghana. Home of the Ashanti tribe. My parents, my mom is from Ghana and part of the Ga tribe. So there's a very special meaning for me being here in Ghana. There's also a very, very deep gold story here. And I want to find out more about it. The Ashanti Kingdom emerged just over 300 years ago. And, thanks to its vast reserves of gold, became one of West Africa's most powerful dynasties. So today is the very special Ashanti Akwesi Day Festival. I've been honored to be asked to be part of the procession and it is an honor. So I have to wear something appropriate to meet the king and I'm meeting someone who's gonna help me. Hello, Hello Mr. Idris. How are you? You are welcome. Nice to Happy meet you. to see you here. Very good. Wow. Yeah. So you have everything here. Yes, I have everything. Here is the cloth I've chosen for you. Wow, this is beautiful, huh? Yes. How long does it take to make something like this? This will take about three months. So I wear this yes. across my skin? Yes. Okay. Then we'll put these ornaments on you. So this is the jewelry that I should wear? Yes. Huh? Okay. So who gets to wear the most gold? Otunfo and then the Amai Hene. So Otunfo is the king? Yes, Otunfo is the king. Amai Hene? They are the chiefs, yes. Okay, so uh, nobody wears more gold than the king? When you are with the king, you mm. have to come down because you are going to the king. Yes. <laughs> calm down. Uh, yes, yes. Can I take a sword or no swords? No, you won't take the sword. Only the chiefs. <laughs> they look good though. Yeah. All right. So you only wear the cloth and then the ornaments. The Akwasi Day Festival celebrates the lives and deeds of past rulers by bringing together all of the kingdom's tribes. I've heard it was a big deal, but this is something else. There must be thousands here, and the noise is deafening. Now we're all assembled, it's time for the main event. The arrival of the Asantehini, King Otumfo Ose Tutu II. And his entrance leaves little doubt as to who the boss is around here. The Ashanti have an old saying, that is, gold is king. And they're not kidding. In fact, I've never seen anyone wearing so much gold. But this isn't some crude display of wealth. Each item of gold is laden with meaning. These gold staffs carried by the king's spokesman represent old Ashanti fables. Elaborate gold swords symbolize the courage and strength of the Ashanti nation, while the king's solid gold bracelets signify his personal authority. The Ashanti believe their king wields divine power 
and the festival is an opportunity for his chiefs to show their loyalty and give their thanks for his dedication to improving the region's prosperity. One by one, they come forward and bow before the king. It's only a brief moment, but it feels almost sacred. And then, well, I'm called. Now look, I don't get stage fright, but this, well, <laughs> This was kind of nerve-wracking. Yes. Okay. Hello, hello. I'm so good, how are you? Meet yourself, a pleasure. You know, I'm Ghanaian myself, and it's just an honor to be here with you. But thank you so much. It's rare to be granted a personal audience with the king. So to meet the great man is a genuine honor. I can't honestly believe that I'm here. And the king greeted me, you know, like a prince. You've got to understand, in Ashanti, gold isn't just to have gold and have money. It represents a spiritual, it represents a deep history and, and it's to be treated with respect. One thing's for sure, gold transformed the Ashanti kingdom and economy. It's a story that has played out across the world.